Hello guys, welcome to windowsreport.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the memory management error in Windows 10. So the memory management error is another type of blue screen of dead. We already have videos about other types of BSODs. So in this video, as I've said, we're going to talk about the memory management error. The name of it tells everything. It's about the RAM memory. The problem could be in two ways. The first way, it could be from the hardware part of the RAM memory, or it could be from the software part. The first thing that I'm going to advise you to do is to check your RAM memory as a hardware you have to check if it's not damaged or something because I have had this problem in the past and my RAM memory was damaged and I was getting this BSOD but you have to check it if it seems okay if it doesn't have any damages to it maybe the problem is from the software part of it so that is in the hands of the Windows operating system so I'm gonna show you in this video a few solutions to the problem and hopefully this will fix your issue and will remove your BSOD. The first solution would be to run the SFC scanner. So the SFC scanner is a Microsoft tool that you can use for resolving various system problems. Many of you I think will say that this solution is not good at all, won't be the solution for you, but you have to definitely try it because many users reported that this solution helped them and resolved the issue. So to run the SFC scanner you'll have to run the CMD as an administrator. To do that, you have to press Windows plus X, then click on command prompt admin. Of course, in the user account control, you have to click on yes. Once the CMD is open, you have to type in the CMD SFC slash scan now. So it's a very simple command and then you have to press enter and your scan will start. Of course, your system will be restarted and after the restart, you have to see if the problem is solved. I can guarantee you the problem will be solved after this solution, but keep in mind that this solution works only if the problem problem is from the software part of the RAM memory, not from the hardware part, because if the hardware part is damaged, you cannot do anything from the OS, from the Windows operating system, but we went through that. Also, your RAM memory could be corrupted. This is also a thing in Windows, your RAM memory could be corrupted. So to check if the RAM memory is corrupted and to solve it, you should try to do another scan, another type of scan, which is as well in the operating system in the Windows 10 by default. You you have to go to search, you click on the search button and in the search box you have to type in Windows Memory Diagnostic. You click on it and this window will pop up, it's a very very simple process. Here it says check your computer for memory problems. So memory problems can cause your computer to lose information or stop working. This is actually true, so to scan or do this diagnostic you have to click on restart now and check for problems. You click on that, the system will restart, the whole process will check your RAM memory and everything should be okay after you do this. Also, for a third advice or solution, I'm going to advise you to be careful at your percentage usage of the RAM memory because if you have, let's say, 4 gigabytes of RAM and you use applications that use a lot of RAM and maybe the usage of the RAM gets near 100%, the BSOD could be from that as well because if the memory is too busy, we'll try to clear everything up so you'll get that BSOD in order to restart your PC and then the memory memory would be refreshed. So there are two solutions, either you use applications that don't use so much memory and you are more careful with the usage of the memory, or you can add multiple RAM memories and you can make your memory much bigger. So I'm gonna be very happy to hear from you in the comments down below or even in the article down below in the description because you can check out there a few other advices and also as I've said don't forget to leave feedback for this video tell us in the comments if the video was helpful if the video helped you and don't forget to leave a like if so and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel Windows Report I was Emmanuel from WindowsReport.com until next time Bye-bye.